Hey everyone, I'm Asher Friedberg with the Illuminati, and today we are going to be talking about how the MCU Spider-Man could be setting up Armor Wars. Before we begin, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and share to help us grow. I'm also going to issue a spoiler warning for Spider-Man No Way Home, as we talk about major events that took place in the film. As we saw in the Homecoming trilogy, Iron Man played a fairly large role in Spider-Man's development. He gave him his first legitimate Spider-Man suit, brought him into the Avengers Civil War, mentored him throughout Spider-Man Homecoming and Avengers Infinity War before he eventually died in Avengers Endgame. Spider-Man Far From Home dealt with Peter Parker and the world's reactions to the death of Iron Man. Peter also inherited some Stark tech from Tony, such as the Edith glasses and the drones it controlled. In Spider-Man No Way Home, after Spider-Man's identity was revealed by Mysterio, Damage Control came in and took Peter's Edith glasses, as well as his Iron Spider charging station. Damage Control also raided Stark Industries, and appeared to take a decent amount of his tech into custody. Spider-Man No Way Home ended with Doctor Strange casting a spell to make the world forget who Peter Parker is, but it didn't undo the investigation into Stark Industries. Damage Control is still in possession of fairly dangerous and powerful Stark tech. This shows that without Tony Stark, his inventions are very vulnerable. We didn't see a CEO make any comment, which means there could be a lack of leadership at this point. Pepper Potts might no longer be CEO at this point in time, as in Avengers Endgame we saw Tony and Pepper starting a family together. It appeared they both retired from their roles as Iron Man and CEO respectively. At this point in time, it's very apparent that Stark Industries needs a new CEO or some form of leadership. Spider-Man at this point has less of a connection than ever to Stark Industries, as nobody remembers him, and his only Stark tech left is likely the mask he repurposed when creating his new homemade suit at the end of No Way Home. Right now, Spider-Man is likely unable to do much of anything to assist, so the burden could fall on the star of Armor Wars, James Rhodes. Rhodey could be left to pick up the pieces of the damage control raid, and might be responsible for hunting down various Iron Man armors and other pieces of technology. Are you excited for Armor Wars? Do you think Spider-Man's presence will be felt in the series? Let us know in the comments! Thank you all for watching, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and share, and be sure to check out my other videos on the channel! See y'all next time!